I'm using the oat milk cookie dairy free creamer and it's really good. So I like it. I love this creamer. I feel like I needed to tell you guys about this because honestly, super delicious. Now it is sweet, but for the fact that it's oat and dairy free, I'm sold. This is really good. I wanted to do this video a little different. It's been a highly requested video on Instagram, on TikTok, and on YouTube. So I wanted to do a video where I kind of just showed you guys or really took you guys behind the scenes of how I take pictures basically indoors. And I have somewhere I've done outdoors on my TikTok or Instagram, but I haven't shown you guys an actual in-depth video. So today's video, I am going to take you from the beginning of my day all the way to basically the end of me creating content and show you how I get it done. The process is basically self-explanatory, so I'm gonna list it out here and I'm gonna go dive right into it. You need makeup done, you're gonna need your hair done, you are gonna need to do skincare before your makeup so that your makeup looks flawless, which will equal to less editing. I do skincare first, then makeup, then I'll go ahead and do my hair, then I'll find my outfits, steam them, iron them, and then I go ahead and get my lights, put them where I need them, and then click away and pose. So we're gonna do that for today. First things first, skincare. Skincare is probably the most important of, the, of all the steps in this video, and let me tell you why. Because you need your makeup to go on as flawless and smooth as possible, and I feel like with skincare, if it's not done properly or you do not have refreshed and rejuvenated skin, your makeup is not gonna look flawless in your photos. So today's video is sponsored by Tula. I'm not a stranger to Tula. I've definitely used their products before in the past and absolutely love them. I'm gonna use a couple of these products to reset and rejuvenate my skin. I do have a discount code that is 15% off. One of my favorite things from Tula is gonna be the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. This is a must. Like, I feel like everyone needs this. This is also really good for washing off makeup. So if you have no makeup wipes, you know how like with most cleansers, you have to wash like once or twice? This is heavy enough to wash off all your makeup with one wash, and your skin does not feel super tight and just uncomfortable, so. I have scented a skin and this does the job for me. There's prebiotics and probiotic extracts and there's also some turmeric in it, which helps the skin feel super soft and balanced. Once that's done, it is time to moisturize. It's a bright start in vitamin C moisturizer, probably one of my favorites. I use this in the morning and I use this at night as well. Now I love to use it in the morning because it makes my face look brighter and just like more awake. This definitely does the job. All right, so I just do one to two thumbs or squirts. <laughs> just kind of moisturize this into your skin. This also smells delish. The smell actually puts me in a good mood in the morning and at night. Okay, and then this right here is like the best thing ever. So this is basically the filter primer. So basically it looks like you're wearing, like you know when you're on Instagram and you smooth your picture, like you swipe to go to the next filter on the stories, and it gives you that smoothing, blurred out effect. Well, this is that in real life. This is one of my favorite primers. I use this before I put my foundation on and it makes all the difference. So, but this is also good if you don't wanna wear makeup and you just wanna wear your natural beauty and have your skin just look really smooth. So it serves two purposes. I put enough very sheerly tinted. So even if you were to get like a darker color, I think they have dark and light, it won't make much of a difference, but, but you can see how it's turning color a little bit. And then lastly, what I do is I just take this Rose Glow and Get It Balm, which is a, a balm for your eyes underneath. It's very cooling. I love the way it feels. So I always put this underneath my eye. And you can use this under makeup or over your makeup, or again, on those days when you just don't wanna wear makeup and you wanna pair these two together, it's gonna give you that very natural, luminous, healthy glow to your face. So, let me go ahead and put that on. I basically take this and I go around my whole entire eyeball in a, in a circle. And I put it underneath 
and around my eye. Tula is 100% cruelty free, which means it is not tested on any animal. Tula is also doctor formulated. All the products are basically formulated with probiotic extract, so nice and natural. And superfoods to feed your skin. I don't want to rub because if you rub your skin too much under here, you can create wrinkles. So I'm just going to pat it into my skin. And every time I wear Tula, I just feel so confident in my natural skin because I know I do have imperfections and stuff. This is how we're looking. It's like a healthy glow, I love it. But that's kind of what the brand wants you to know, like you don't have to have perfect skin. The whole point is to have confidence in your skin. Now we're gonna go ahead to the next point of this video, which is the makeup portion. This so this is how it looks when I'm recording. I just kind of like make some cute faces. I have my my camera turned sideways i have my lights i have my table with all my makeup brands and such and yeah so this is going to be the first half of how i all right y'all so i'm going to record my phone for two reasons because one, I am filming a TikTok slash Instagram reel right now. And I wanna put I wanna show you guys the makeup process. So um basically I like to do a nice simple foundation look. I don't like to do something that's too extra because then if I'm changing outfits, I don't want the makeup to look the same in every outfit. I want it to look like I want it to be buildable. If you're taking photos and you're gonna batch um batch record or batch I don't know, photograph content, do a, a light makeup look. Now there are many apps where you can add on extra foundation or you can add, I mean, extra eyeshadow or extra eyeliner so that you don't have to worry about your look. You don't want your pictures to look like you took all your pictures in one day, cause then it doesn't look authentic or, you know, if people are really paying attention. But to me, I pay attention to that. So if I do a crazy smoky eye and I'm wearing that crazy smoky eye with five different outfits, it looks bizarre. Okay, it looks crazy. So simple makeup look first. And then for next outfit, maybe add on black eyeliner for the third outfit, add on black eyeshadow. Okay, that's how I usually do it. It works and it helps. basically what I was saying in this part of the video my mic was off which totally sucks but I was basically saying that for indoor shots you want really great lighting and that I was gonna only use one out of my three lights you can use three lights if you want two lights if you want but I only wanted just one uh, one light if you have an external flash even better you can get the look that you're looking for and so basically what I was gonna do was take one light and move it out into the hallway because I wanted to take photos by the steps I have my light right here and then I have my tripod with my camera and then this is always the case to ignore that but I want to take pictures right here so the key to doing this is you want to have a great source of light. That's gonna be important, especially indoors because you don't want it to be too yellow or like just too dark. You still want it to look very lively and still very um, bright in your photo without having to do too much editing. So I know I want it here because I have these two pictures. So I can turn on, I will turn on the light even though it is yellow, that's okay but I know I want to stand here. Okay, so a really important tip. Because the lights are very yellow, you want to go ahead and take the yellow out of your camera. So make sure it's on manual. And then we're going to go to settings, go to the K, right? And then we're going to click it and we wanna turn this down. And this is gonna take some of the yellows out and make it look a little bit more, have a more white balance. And then go ahead and brighten it. Not too bright, so not too bright. All 
All right, so things that you're gonna most definitely need is a camera remote. This makes things so much easier, especially if it's like glitching or something like that, or the Wi-Fi starts to turn off. So I highly recommend using a remote. All right, so let's take some test shots. I'm hiding the remote because whatever you can see through my hands, I'm gonna go ahead and just Photoshop it out. You can also set the timer, but I don't wanna set the timer. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click. Today to get some lunch, and I actually booked a hotel to create content. I have a campaign due on Friday. I'm gonna be by myself. Are you coming? No, right? Well, Kim got work to do, first of all, so she shouldn't even be coming. And she got a boo to see. A man to see. A man to see. I forgot. Hey, y'all. Kim was so quick to correct me, like, excuse me, not my boo, my man. Right, whole man. Okay, we got a whole man out here. <laughs> Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, I got something to tell you. Okay. No, yeah, we gotta catch up about everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta catch up. <laughs> is, that I, a, is that a red or white? It's a white wine, the oh, Sauvignon okay. Blanc, but it's a dry wine. It's, it's typically dry. Oh, okay. So if you don't like dry, mm -hmm. it's very dry. If you don't like yeah, trying to figure out the air off. <laughs> yeah. the hotel room and me and Kim actually had another drink because we just were vibing but to be honest super unsatisfied with that restaurant like it's the cute it's a cute restaurant but super 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 unsatisfied um yeah so 
Anyways, Deja's here, so we're gonna go ahead and um, start trying to create some stuff. I'm gonna do a bathing suit try on haul for TikTok and Instagram. I was supposed to do a campaign here for Friday, as I told you guys earlier, but there's no sun and it defeats the purpose of trying to create it. So, yeah, um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to do it somewhere else. At my man's house. <laughs> Deja, what are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you on the floor like that? Can you not look at my toes? Let me see it. <laughs> Can I see your toes? Show me the toes! No, because they're scrounged. Nobody <laughs> told you to get your toes round. Alright, it's the next morning. I'm highly ashamed to admit that I slept with my makeup on, knowing that my face is breaking out so I'm just gonna do a little skincare just to get my skin back in order cuz I look crazy I look crazy right now with no makeup I decided I'm gonna stick with one line of products you know products that I've used before because this I'm like no no I cannot have bad skin when I take off the makeup summertime is coming so I don't have oh I have makeup wipes no I don't have any makeup wipes but I'm gonna use this oh my god I love this brand I've been using them for I did use them about two years ago there was a sponsorship and I ended up keeping like everything and using it because I loved it so there's no reason for me to ever change so um I'm gonna do a couple of washes because I have to get all this makeup off my face in order to get to the next step of my skincare routine which I'm gonna finish after I shower gel-based cleanser and I kind of like this because I feel like the other ones that have a little bit too moisture too much moisture in it I feel like it just makes my it doesn't really feel clean on my face and this I like to use this at night and in the morning 